I'm Sean Grady. I'm line producer for Madden NFL 25. What does Next Gen open up for you guys when it comes to Madden? Well, the first thing is it starts with the visuals. You look at the game, it just has taken a, taken a big leap forward. We've been saying it's 10x the fidelity. You see the detail in our characters and their pores and their skin, the materials that you can reach out and touch on their jerseys. It's just more visual, brought to life like never before. When it comes to the actual players, can you talk a little about how they interact with the environment, the grass, differently potentially with next gen? Yeah, well what you're gonna see is they're going to have weight on every step. This year we're calculating every step, we call it true step. And essentially when a player turns, when he changes direction, his foot actually plants, he takes some little stutter steps and turns around and goes the other direction. We used to have kind of a swerve in the game. There's just real weight on every step like, like never before. In terms of the grass, which is like two thirds of what you see when you're in the gameplay camera, it looks like photorealistic. You know, when you see the degradation that occurs over time, in some camera angles, you'll think you're looking at an actual NFL game. It looks stunning. When it comes to the physics and the hits, what does Next Gen bring to that? Uh, it's just cleaned up. It's more authentic. You know, we used to have some kind of loose limbs that would fly around when a big hit would occur. Uh, now it's really tightened up. Uh, of course, we still stay true to the NFL rules. We don't ever have head-to-head -head hits or anything like that. We hit a player on the shoulder and that type of thing. But they're just more authentic. You don't see limbs flying and things of that nature. What does it open up from a gameplay perspective when it comes to the next-gen experience? Yeah, the biggest thing is that you've got players that act and think like humans now. Uh, we call it human intelligence, makes sense, right? Uh, a running back, when he's finding a hole, might put his hand on the back of a, uh, his line uh, when he's going around the hole. When he's running downfield and he sees a defender coming at him, he might point and say, hey, pick up that guy, give me a block type of thing. Uh, we've rewritten our O-line and D-line from, from scratch for Gen 4 specifically. It's literally designed by a former NFL lineman. So those guys will think like real NFL linemen. They may start in a double team and they'll see a blitzing linebacker. They'll switch out of that double team and pick up that blitzing uh, linebacker just like they would in the real world. So most authentic experience on the field that we've ever had. Will this game also have all of the features from the Madden 25 current Gen? That's the big great news. Everything that you've seen on Gen 3, we're bringing forward into this year's game, so you're not gonna lose anything if you, if you purchase the Xbox One or PS4 version of the game. When it comes to capturing the guys, did you have to do anything differently when it comes to bringing the guys in, the rookies every year, to be able to get the fidelity that you're getting with uh, Gen 4? Well, we actually capture them in the same way, but the resolution that we get out of those captures is 4X what we've had in the past. So again, when you talk about the detail that you see on a face, the materials you see on a jersey, it's going to be brought to life like never before. I mean, literally, when you see the jersey, it looks like you can reach out and touch it. You can see the texture on it. So uh, just higher resolution, 4X what it's been in the past. What about, do you guys use performance capture or motion capture at all when it's capturing the animations of the real guys? Absolutely, we use performance capture. We have a studio up in Vancouver. We've got actors that come in that perform all these plays, all of our big hits, all of our throwing animations. We capture all that, put into the game. It's uncompressed, so the animations that you'll see on Gen 4 are gonna be smoother. Uh, when you're controlling the stick, it's gonna feel more polished and smooth uh, as well. What about the, the stadiums and the environments? What, what are some of the details? We talked a lot about the grass and the players, but what about the ambiance in uh, Next Gen? Well, our sidelines and our crowds, we're calling it Living World, uh, are 3D models throughout the entire stadium now. They're all watching intently everything that's happening in the game. If you go near the sideline as a player, if you're about to go out of bounds, you'll see the players kind of back away to get out of the way. If you actually go, you might hit one of those players. If you're heading towards your team, they might kind of catch you and push you on the field. If you're heading to your the opposite, the opposing team they might kind of push you back on the field uh, and then the crowd just going to be like watching you intently and celebrating uh, like never before